My name is Casey Laughlin. I'm the owner of Texas Outdoor Oasis. Uh, today I'm here with two of our outdoor living designers, I have Courtney and Jimmy. Uh, we're going to talk about a few things such as what all we offer. We're going to talk about our process. We're going to talk about our, our designs uh, and what we think we do in the market that brings value. So uh, just a little history of our company. We've been in the outdoor living market since 2010. Uh, specializing in cedar structures, uh, stamped concrete, you know, pavers, travertine, a lot of fire features, outdoor kitchens, you know, just everything that comes with the outdoor uh, environment. Uh, so since 2010, we've finished more than 1,500 outdoor living projects in the, the DFW area. Uh, we specialize pretty much from Pointy to Frisco, Dallas to Greenville is kind of our working area. Uh, really excited about some new stuff that we're, we're just bringing to market this year, uh, 4K aluminum structures. Uh, we're also offering uh, motorized uh, retractable screens, which have been a, a, a high demand for a few years now. Uh, we're just now uh, getting into that market and work with those clients. Different types of pavers, we've offered Bell Guard for years and years. There's a, a, a new uh, Teco block that, that just moved our area. Uh, offering those, really bringing some more modern type uh, uh, pavers to market. We're also uh, Blaze Appliance dealers, which you see behind us here. Uh, we offer landscape lighting packages. We do have a great display here in the office for that as well. And we do, do offer lens appliances. So we're going to move on and start asking some questions about our process. So Courtney uh, is one of our designers. She's been with us for what are you, seven years now? Seven and a half. Seven and a half years. Uh, a whiz at the CAD designs, and uh, she was the first one in our company to start doing the 3D renderings, and we really saw the value in that and what it uh, what it brings to the customer. So, Courtney, tell us a little bit about the design process and why do you feel that, like there's a benefit to the 3D renderings? Yeah, so the benefit to the 3D renderings is you really get to see what your project is going to look like. Um, kind of the way everything moves together. We put furniture in there so you can see what the space is really going to feel like. If you have any specific design elements like a TV wall or any decorative trim pieces, fireplaces, that kind of a thing, we can really incorporate that into the design so that you can see what your space is going to look like and there's not a whole lot of guesswork involved. So if you were designing for a lifestyle and that that's a big deal uh, when we're creating these spaces. We get a phone call a lot of times we'll say, hey, we're looking for a 10 by 20 patio. A lot of people I don't think realize that a 10 by 20 patio, once you take away the area that the posts are gonna require, you really narrow that space down. It may not fit everything that you feel like is gonna fit within the space. With the renderings, we can take that 10 by 20, place you know a certain size table and chair set in there. Uh, we're able to actually put people within the area add your grilling area, station, whatnot, and really see how much room's left over. And a lot of times what we see is maybe those spaces that, that people thought they wanted, maybe they need more space to, right. to incorporate. So that's really the benefit of the 3D and uh, it, it gives you a great feel for what you have to work with. What we're seeing uh, currently in the 2023 market, our projects have been starting around $20,000. That's kind of an entry level outdoor living project I think last year, kind of the average project was in that thirty-five to fifty thousand range, um, and then you know we did some higher end projects in that hundred and fifty thousand dollar range. There's there's a huge range, but what uh, kind of our target market is going to be that thirty-five to one hundred and fifty thousand dollar outdoor living project, and that's standalone. That's not including swimming pool, uh, landscape, or any other stuff that we we can bring to the table for you. Right. Once you present the, the design in office, you know, obviously we can go back and make edits based on, you know, what you like, what you don't like. From there, kind of where does that process go? So whenever you're here, if you want to see design changes or if you had something different in mind that we didn't design for you, we can make changes in person on site and kind of go over what that looks like. Um, and so you are happy with your design. This is your backyard. We're a custom builder. We want to make sure that what we're designing is what you want in the backyard. Um, and then from there, we can reflect that into pricing and we can reflect that into build plans, um, permitting, and then we'll set up pre-construction meetings with our project managers to get started. So we do draft our own plans in-house. Uh, our designers do the drafting. Uh, we do have engineering firms that we work with. So if, if the product requires engineering, such as, you know, City McKinney, uh, over a certain square footage is going to require engineering. 
uh, if we get over certain spans, you know, we want to send it out and have an engineer just so that we're comfortable with the, the spans that we've uh, put in, into the design, make sure it's, we're not going to have any structural issues years down the road. Uh, so yeah, if we do draft those plans, we'll get your plans ready for HOA, then we will submit those to the city for permits as needed. <clears throat> what are some of the trends that you're seeing right now as you're going out and meeting with different homeowners? It seems like things have taken kind of a turn. When we first got into this market, we were doing about probably 99% cedar structures. Uh, it seems like there's been a lot of West Coast influence and we're starting to see more of your, your modern trends. What are you seeing as you're going out and, and visiting with the homeowners? So I've been doing this um, for just over seven years now. Um, when we first started, we were doing a lot of the rustic cedar, uh, traditional type structures. Um, and then we kind of went more into like the farmhouse vibes. Uh, everything started getting more painted, but was still kind of in the rustic families. Um, and now we're starting to see a lot more of the modern contemporary type feels, um, lots of turf inlays in the decking, a lot cleaner lines, um, more grays and whites rather than browns and tans. As far as color go, a lot more tile instead of natural stone. Super clean, super smooth. And really that's where these new product lines we're bringing on are gonna take off. The 4K aluminum, uh, they've been really, really heavy out on the West Coast, all down through Arizona. Uh, it's a, a really neat product. Uh, we could do large cantilevers, you know, just really neat modern pergolas. The Teco Block, it's a, a Canadian company. Uh, they offer, you know, Belgard has some semi-modern uh, textures. Teco Block is really bringing it, a lot of concrete, you know, paper pads. I mean, just some really neat stuff that we have to offer now. Um, like I said, we're seeing a lot of concrete set pads. We're seeing more like broom finished concrete and salt finished concrete, not so much of your your stamp concrete that was trending just a couple or a few years back. It's really taking that modern turn. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move over to Jimmy. Take us through the process from that pre-con meeting where you know they're gonna be introduced to the project manager. Take us from there and walk us through like, where do we go from there? That's right, yeah. So we're gonna um, have that pre-construction meeting at your home. Uh, it's gonna be myself or Courtney, um, the designer of your project, and it's gonna be your assigned construction manager, your project manager. Um, at that time, we're gonna meet there. We're gonna go over the plans that we've drafted, um, talk about um, anything from just access to your home, approximate build times, um, what kind of to expect throughout the process. Um, at that time, we're gonna be on a group for text and that group text is going to be a way that we can all communicate together so we're on the same page. Anything that you have that you would like to um, just chime in and ask a question, I'll be on it. So I'll be able to answer from a design standpoint. Uh, project manager will be on it with, as well so he could talk to you about any of the uh, construction that's going on there. Um, speaking of construction, we, we have uh, in-house uh, framing and carpentry crews that are going to be building your project. That gives us a lot of benefit as far as um, quality. You know that we're, you're going to get a structural, um, nice build at the end. So that's the, the pre-construction meeting. You're introduced. So that from there, we're going to go on and start the project, right? And we'll, we're going to do another video with our project managers. We'll kind of talk about how that's going to go as far as, you know, uh, process of construction and, and some things that we do. And we're going to do those out in the field where you can actually see us on a project. Once that project's wrapped up, so once they're right there at that back end, so the, the project's done, we're going to have a, a post-construction meeting. So I've been doing them for about six months now, but uh, we are trying to get back to every house or, and do these post-con meetings to where we can get your feedback. Let us know how those have, have gone, the ones that you've been on. Yeah, they have definitely been a wonderful benefit for myself and I think just for um, the clients that we've done them with because at that meeting, we get to kind of hear all about, you know, just what went well, things that we can uh, improve on as a company, and really just to kind of see my design that uh, Courtney or I came up with, um, and just how it came to fruition, just kind of see the full final product. Um, it's, it's amazing for me to kind of see that, uh, see that, um, you know, that y'all are taken care of, that you're happy with um, the, final, the final piece. The benefit, like you mentioned, you know, the things that have gone right and the things that haven't gone just like we wanted them to, you know, there's always things that can come up that, uh, uh, unforeseen, you know, but, but what we want to know is as our process is set up and, and has been for years, where do we, where can we hone that to, to get better? And that, that feedback from these post-con meetings has been just 
awesome. You know, the homeowners will tell us, hey, really love this. I wish this would have gone smoother. We can bring that back to our team. You know, it's myself, we have a general manager uh, and a whole construction team, design team and say, hey, how can we hone our process to where this portion that, you know, would, would run smoother? Uh, so we're, we're constantly trying to hone our skill set. Even as, as long as we've been in this, uh, there, there's always room for improvement. So yeah, we do have an in-house landscape designer. So it's really uh, been great to be able to, to make these back, backyard, you know, out, outdoor oases. I mean, that's what we built. So we're able to take that uh, that property, um, you know, doing thing. We we have our own irrigation crews. So we're gonna we're gonna build it. We're gonna be able to reroute all those main lines for the sprinkler to reroute, make sure there's no active irrigation left under the working areas. Uh, it, it's funny, I've uh, been in the irrigation business for years and I've seen some crazy stuff out there. I've seen irrigation battles left in the middle of concrete, just really tell there's a lot of funky stuff out there, but uh, you know, travertine deck, we'll have a little geyser coming out of it. Well, you had an irrigation line break underneath because the contractor that they chose uh, either didn't know or, or, or didn't, uh, uh, spend the money to go ahead and reroute all of those lines to where you, you didn't leave those active lines under the working area. So that's something we always include is, is final grade cleanup. You know, we've been doing a little sod around the working areas. Just try to, uh, to leave you with a finished product that you can just enjoy. Like I say, as of recent, we have brought on a landscape designer and that's something we're really, you know, seeing take off. Can you talk to us a little bit about what, what Bo has been able to bring to our company? And, and how you've seen it transition these backyards into the full package? Yeah, um, I've worked with Bo pretty pretty close in the, since he's been here the last few months. And to really see him kind of transform these projects at the end of the project, um, landscaping really adds that really awesome touch to every project that we do. And really, he's just building on what we're able to do. We are a full turnkey builder. We do everything under the sun. We make sure the patios are done, the landscaping, the irrigation, um, any kind of stonework you want to do. Um, and Bo comes in and he just really puts the finishing touches on that. He'll meet with you guys kind of halfway through the build process, get a design put together for you with all the budgets. Um, and then they can come in at the end of our build process and finish all that out for you all at the same time. So it's only one mess instead of several different steps. You know, these projects for years that we've been building, it's it's uh, it's it's hardscapes pretty much. The patio cover is all rigid. The concrete or pavers or whatever the texture for you is very rigid. Uh, so even some of these beautiful projects we've built when we're done, it's like, oh man, it's, it's beautiful, but it's just missing something. And it's just, uh, the landscape has been that missing key. Mm -hmm. So we've seen these things really, it softens everything up. Uh, Bo's been great at incorporating landscape lighting. So it, it becomes a, you know, when the sun goes down, these things really come to life. So Jimmy, over the last uh, few years, we've uh, really trying to take education serious. And we've been visiting, you know, home and garden shows. We've been visiting pool and spa shows. We've been to Houston, we've been to San Antonio, you know, Watershape University courses online and, and trying to stay ahead of things. Uh, can you talk about how that's really improved us as designers and you know how you see that benefit for our company absolutely when we're doing all the the different trainings and um, looking at the different trends that are available and visiting the showrooms and trying to look at all the most current um, available materials all that is so that we can put out a um, even more amazing project a project that is uh, a leg up um, on our competition I know it's just as a designer and just kind of seeing projects of what I, you know, was designing, just how they've transitioned since we've been doing the education. It's been just a huge difference. That's allowed us to put out uh, top quality projects. That's right. It's funny looking back at, at when we first entered the market. There wasn't actually at that point there wasn't a lot of competition. Now it seems like there's a lot of guys out there who don't really do, but. Everything has just become so much more uh, elegant, more advanced. You know, bigger beam spans, incorporating other materials into these these designs, and, and really, it's great seeing what you guys have been able to do with the, you know, taking on that education and working through it. Anyhow, uh, Tech Center Oasis, look us up.